Um, so, so let's look. Mark Wallace says drowning in caravan site fees debt while all other banks, credit companies are doing their utmost to support us through this pandemic. But how are we expected to carry on paying £635 each month? Mark, this is an interesting question because, um, as you may know, um, or people watching may know, caravan site fees and terms and conditions of caravan parks is something I've now turned my attention to because, of course, I've been concentrating on the likes of Teletext. We've got a CMA investigation happening there. That's good. Or they're looking into one. Um, so my work there is nearly done. I spent a lot of time looking at weddings. I got an investigation um, going there by the CMA. My work there is done. So now who am I going to terrorize? Caravan parks. I'm looking at them now because uh, Mark's not the only person asking me that question and also many other questions. And the question that I'm being asked generically is, are caravan parks generically um, breaching consumer rights? Are they breaching consumers' um, consumer protection rights? Answer, not sure yet, still looking at it, but let's look at Mark's particular question. Mark, I'm not sure um, exactly what's happened here because you've not told me all of the information. But if this is a case where you can't go to your caravan, because of course we're in lockdown, and you're saying to me, well, I'm still paying every month, but I can't use it, then potentially you'll be able to claim some kind of a refund, probably a deduction. Let me explain why. And, and I'm going to pause for a moment and tell you this. Um, next Wednesday, not, not this Wednesday, but the one after, I'm doing a live stream specially for Caravan Park Issues. And I'll be dealing with this in a great amount of detail then. And for that reason, I won't go into this in great detail now. But let me say this. Um, when you enter into what most car caravan parks call a pitch agreement, that agreement is for them to effectively store your caravan on a pitch. Um, they'll charge you something for that. And many of the caravan parks have been current recently saying that's all we charge you for. So, so long as we allow your caravan to stay in situ, there's no refund you're entitled to because they're allowing you on the park, cutting the grass, providing security and all the other things that you get with these caravans, that's all free of charge. There's something that you know and I know. Nothing is free of charge. So that argument must be wrong. But of course, they're, they're certain it is wrong. Why? Well, because they've probably gone to some lawyers who have read the agreement and said, I know what we can do. We can come up with a weird and wonderful argument that's going to derail people like Mark and make him think, Oh, I must be wrong. I'll carry on paying. But they don't bargain for someone like me to come along saying, well, actually, I think I might know more than your lawyers or certainly than you do. And that's just not right. So I'm not going to name any names because I told you at the start, I don't tend to do that if they're not here to defend themselves. But I've been looking into many caravan park providers, mainly the bigger ones with lots of parks and looking at their terms and conditions. And even the ones that say, well, you're only paying for the pitch. I do not think that that's correct um, because um, it can't be, you know, cutting the grass and all the things, rest of the things cost them money. And it must be the case that they're charging it for you for it. So what you need to do, Mark, is go back to them and say, please, can you give me a breakdown of how you arrive at my annual fee? Or in your, your case, this £635 fee, how, what's that made up of? Because it's certainly not all for the pitch, not less the pitch is gold plated. It comes with champagne on tap. It's not going to be that much. Um, and that's why really they get caught out. I found some YouTube videos from different providers where they have sales pitches on YouTube. They're telling people like you, Mark, and other people that have got pictures, how wonderful the park is, all the things that you get. And they slip up in some of these because they talk about how you pay for um, grass cutting, waste collection, security. And of course, that's at odds with what now they're all telling us what I've been saying. So, Mark, I'm going to invite you to come back to the live stream specifically about this. My view is I think there's something you can do, um, but let me explain it in more detail. Otherwise, I'm going to take up, take up this whole live stream because it's a really long subject, this, an interesting one. But I'm going to leave you with this um, this evening with this subject. I think you've got rights. I think we're going to get somewhere with this. And I think eventually we're going to convince 
the Competition and Market Authority, the CMA, to do an investigation. So watch this space is what I'm going to say. Um, oh, I better just read this one, actually. 